Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. It is time to take our plane, fly like 16 fucking hours from LA, and go all the way to Dubai because the tea is sandy, is hot, is popping, is pure Arab tea, girl. These ladies are not playing and I'm just enjoying how they go after each other but most of that is like some of them it's the nerve for me basically at this point okay because apparently Lisa Mulan and Chanel Ayan are going after Caroline Brooks and we definitely need to talk about it because guess what Caroline Brooks is not gonna stay quiet so before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh mess Ay, Dios mío. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can you Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, I mean... I'm loving a spicy housewife. And I love more than that when we have like six spicy housewives, okay? Every single one of them are showing to the task you know they are really really making dubai happening and i'm really appreciating it even sarah almadani who at the beginning i was very like mm, i love you but you know you need to like really step it up she is doing it right now okay like the past two episodes and i know the next episode is going to be insane so all of the girls right now they are going at it okay now we have this relationship this weird relationship between lisa milan chanel Ayan, and caroline brooks you know they are all like we love each other we are sisters i mean we are amazing yeah 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 but they are going after each other hard and one thing it's fun shade you know, when you kind of like throw something and you're a little bit sassy, but it's funny. And then you can like laugh about it, you know. And another one is just being plain nasty. And I feel that, look, I have been saying this from the beginning. Lisa Milan is a manipulator. She start, stirs the pot. I don't really like what she's trying to do uh, on this season. Um, and she keeps trying to do the most over and over. And going after Caroline Brooks. And you know why she wants to go after Caroline Brooks so much? Because Caroline Brooks has something is that she is reactionary, you know? She is the kind of housewife that she cannot, you know, keep things inside. And she has to respond immediately to wh whoever is attacking her, you know? It's not a bad quality, you know, because it, it means that you are able to defend yourself, you know, and you are people are not going to be walking all over you. But it also puts you in a position where people can manipulate you without knowing without you knowing that they are manipulating you, you know? So Lisa Milan is coming here, throwing all these accusations, throwing all this shit at Caroline Brooks because she knows that Caroline Brooks is going to react. And you know what? She did. And we are having seen on the show and off camera and on social media constantly, you know, since the show start. Now, Chanel Ayan, to me, Chanel has a great heart. And the problem with Chanel is that she is a ship, you know? She is literally doing... I mean, she is so brainwashable. That's what I'm trying to say, you know? Like, she just go and, like, whatever people tell her on the ear, she's like, oh, yes, let's do that. Oh, yeah, 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 let's do that. Oh, yeah, you are right. No, you are right. No, you are right, you know? And because Lisa Milan has such control over Chanel... She's constantly, you know, siding with Lisa Milan. But overall, I feel like if we will take Lisa Milan away, Chanel will actually be able to find herself and have her own opinions. I feel that every single one of her opinions are literally coming from Lisa Milan. She is Lisa Milan's mouthpiece at this point, you know? Like everything that she says, she's like, yes, she's right, you know? And 
it kind of like becoming a little bit annoying. But I do agree and I do think that Chanel has a great heart. And I think she is a great woman and that she has the potential to be a great housewife. So she just needs to like cut those, you know, bad seeds from her life. Now, resuming everything is going to go on the fact that Lisa Milan and Chanel Ayan are, um, you know, talking with entertainment tonight. And of course, they are saying and they are throwing jabs at Caroline Brooks. OK, they are saying that Caroline Brooks was basically super boring that she didn't have a storyline, that she didn't have anything, and that she was basically going to be demoted to a friend of the show if it wasn't because of Lisa Milan and Chanel Ayan. How does that work exactly? Because I do not believe that for one second, okay? Maybe their version of like we help her is like oh we are manipulating people around so she could have drama going on that's different you know and that's definitely not helping a friend they are like oh caroline should be thanking us because we saved her job bitch please like no all right of course caroline as i was saying reactionary she's gonna say something um on the comments, she goes on and says, that is a lie. I was I was the very first person cast for The Real Housewife of Dubai before Caroline Stanbury, Lesa, Nina, Sarah, and Ayan. Let's be crystal clear. Nobody on our show was ever going to be demoted. They are lying in the press again. Speaking rubbish, don't make me go in the press and start telling the truth about the real stories. Long before these two were even thought of for this show, I was already cast directly from NBC Universal and truly original. Thank you. You know what, Caroline? You should be exposing those bitches. You should be telling the truth. You should be saying, because this is not the first time or the second time. This is like many times now that those two are like right there, you know, confabulating and doing all this bullshit, going after Caroline over and over and over. When, when is going to be enough? Put something, throw the truth out there. Show us who they really are. Because believe me, I don't think they will be prepared for to deal with the actual truth, you know? I'm telling you, Caroline definitely need to do this. On another uh, post, Caroline says, and nobody on her cast was ever going to be demoted, especially not me. This entire season will be dry without my craziness. Give it a rest, ladies. Uh, someone says, why are you so mad if you if it's not true? Caroline says, excuse me, they are lying and I shouldn't respond. The audacity. Yeah, I agree. Like, honestly, at this point, it's like you definitely need to respond. But again, this is also what they are trying to look for. So, like, be careful with the way you respond. I will say to Caroline, be careful because these two girls, they are not dumb. Okay, Lisa Milan and Chanel Ayan, they know what they're doing, you know, so they are not dumb and they are trying to use Caroline Brooks the same way that some girls on Beverly Hills were using Brandy Glanville or that they were using uh, Leah McSweeney on New York. Because when people are this reactionary, reactionary, you know that you can just do whatever and the other person is just going to try to do something crazy and then take the blame for it okay so be careful because lisa milan is manipulating the hell out of these girls you know especially of course chanel ayan and also she's really really pressing bottoms on caroline brooks that she doesn't want to press but you know what bringing caroline expose those girls shows the truth something it, it doesn't have to be everything you know just throw us a bone we will do the rest. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole situation. Are you team Caroline Brooks or are you team uh, Lisa and Chanel? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.